Hey guys, this is Omniscient, and I'm going to be doing a little really quick tutorial on how to make some sort of metal, shiny-ish text in After Effects. And, you know, this is reasonably easy to do in a 3D program, but a lot of times you really just don't want to have to go into a 3D program to do some really simple text that you, you know, you're just, you're not really needing that whole 3D program functionality and you just want something quick. So this should be really quick because it's really easy and this is the first tutorial I have ever done so be aware that I am not exactly, you know, Andrew Kramer. So let's get started. And also I know the microphone sounds like crap but I'm cheap as hell and I'm probably not going to buy a new one because this one works alright. So here we go. Uh, I already have my composition set up here in After Effects. It's just I have it like five seconds long because I'm just showing you guys what I'm doing. HD, 720p, 30 frames per second, whatever. So let's uh let's just make a new text here. And this technique I have found really works best with really big text. And the reason for that is that the uh, the edges of the text are going to expand when we add the blur that's going to make it look metally or shiny or glossy or whatever. So I think this is best if you want to have sort of a big word floating in the background or you just have something like this, whatever. And it also works best with like thin fonts if you have a really, really thick font like, uh, let's see, I don't know. Just don't use really thick fonts. It works better with thin fonts. And in that spirit, I'm actually going to go ahead and take bold off. So I got my text here, and um, just to make it look nice, I'm going to add a little ramp behind it. It's probably not going to do all that much, but oh well. And I'm just going to make a new white ramp, put it below this. Effect, generate, ramp. I'm not going to go real slow on this because it's really all simple stuff. I'm going to make it a radial ramp. You can really do whatever you want. You just want to... The point is to just make the text look nicer. And just adjust the ramp, whatever whatever colors you want the text to be, you want the ramp to be, and so I want this part down here to be a dark blue, and this part up here to be a nice light blue, there we go. And I'm going to set the track mat, if you don't have that open, you want to click this little button right here, down at the bottom of the screen, and just make it an alpha mat on the layer your text layer and then you get this nice sort of gradient on the text it just makes it pop out a little bit more so now we're gonna go on to the text layer and we're gonna add blur and sharpen vector blur and basically you want to leave it at natural and really play around with how you're gonna mess with the blur and this kinda looks a little bit like garbage right now I mean it looks kinda neat but I don't know if it's what we're going for so you can go anywhere from like 61 or even less for what you want. You know, that's the thing I'm getting at 25. I had, uh, in one of my videos for the credits, I had a big um, text like this in the background, and I actually had the the blur amount up to 450. And it doesn't look that good here, but there's a couple things we can try to make it look a little better. And you can play around with the map softness, and that'll sort of reduce the width. See, that's that's what I like. That's looking nice. You can That'll reduce the width of uh, this blur area right up around in here in the text. And you can play around with the rich smoothness a little bit. I don't really know what that does, but that'll get you some sort of different results. And that's about it. You know, you get this text right here. And as you can see, I guess one issue I've had with this is you have these little jagged edges right in here along the edges of the uh, of the text. And so what I really like to use this for, rather than like having this really close up to the screen like it is right now where you can see those jaggies, is to just sort of have the text in the background. And so I'll like rotate a little bit and just make it look artistic or whatever. And then uh, maybe animate it going, f I don't know. I don't really want to do an animation right now, but I guess I will just animate it sort of. Oop, let's make this a 3D layer, actually. Just animate it coming forward a little bit, or something like that. I don't know. Just whatever you want to do. And uh, then maybe even add 
little bit of a fast blur just to make it look like it's really in the background and it'll help smooth out some of those jaggies. Even though people won't be able to read it quite as well, it'll just, you know, they can still read it and it makes it look like it's in the background. You can even animate the blurriness, you know, from here to here as it gets closer to the camera. So I'll put it down to like 0.5 here. So, and that's, uh, I think that's it. You know, let's do a little RAM preview here so you guys can see what I just made. Actually, I'm going to animate the rotation, too, because I'm cool like that. Um, oh, I see how it is. There we go. Oh, I want you to go like that. There. I'm going to set this to half because my computer is a piece of shit. And then I'll do a RAM preview so you guys can see what I did. And I think that's about it. And hopefully Camtasia didn't fuck up on me, and hopefully my microphone didn't fuck up on me. And, uh, sorry if it sounds like garbage. Well, doing a little RAM preview. Yeah, that looks like shit on my RAM preview, because it's at half and it's a RAM preview, but it'll look a lot nicer when it's rendered. Maybe it won't. Oh, because it's at half. Sorry, I'm retarded. There. And I personally think that is a pretty helpful technique to save you guys a little bit of time if you really don't want to go into a 3D program, if you just don't need that functionality, or you don't want to go into a 3D program, which I also understand because I absolutely hate rendering in between programs. So that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching. Please uh, comment, tell me what I'm doing wrong, tell me what I'm doing right. And uh, if you guys have any other ideas for other tutorials in the future, you know, just let me know. I'd be happy to do them as long as it's not like, hey, Omniscience, I want you to show me how to create legacy like what Zola did, because quite frankly, I don't know how to do that, and I don't want to spend 10 years making a tutorial. And also, Zola is God, and I worship him. So anyways, that's about it. Uh, please subscribe, because there's going to be a bunch more tutorials coming up. Thanks.